Jutta Kleinschmidt, welcome to the Monaco World Sport Legends Award. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to have you here with us. And uh, we can say that you are one of the most successful women in the sporting field, as you are the only woman uh, which could win the famous Paris Dakar. What can you say me about this? I can tell you it's a big adventure. And when uh, I was little already, I was more interested maybe in things like normally are for boys, like cars and <laughs> racing and challenging. Today, luckily, it's a bit different. So more <laughs> girls are interested in this too. And uh, yeah, and then I was dreaming of racing. And, uh, At what age? Um, already very uh, early, when I saw my first motorcycle, mm -hmm. I was fascinated and uh, I started my career on motorcycles. So before I uh, raced in car, I raced four times even on the motorcycle, the mm -hmm. Dakar Rally. And uh, for me, that was the biggest adventure. I wanted to go out, I wanted to see the world with my bike and uh, <laughs> doing a lot of adventure stuff. So I, I can see that you have a lot of passion and energy in yourself. I think that's what you need, you know. So yeah. if you. If you love your, uh, your work, actually, in, in the beginning it was for sure my hobby, but later was my work, then you are good in it. And I think that is what the young people should look for, for something they really love, they have yes. fun with, and they are passionate about. And you need also a lot of determination, and you had a lot of it because you could win that famous race. Uh, how hard was it? Uh, the Hadaka is, is extremely hard, you know, so <laughs> that's, uh, that's why, especially in the past, it was more than three weeks, it was 10,000 kilometers. Wow. You don't know the road before, you never drove it, you just get a road book and you have to find a way. Also, the navigation is also hard and then you go out there, you don't know what happened during the day. You have maybe mechanical problems, but yeah. also so a lot of courage. A lot of courage, well. and you have to repair your car by yourself. And also, when you get stuck, you have to dig yourself out of oh the sand. <laughs> it's very, very tough, and you must be fit for it. And uh, for sure, you you need also a good team behind you to win it because it's it's not a Obviously. single person race. It's a That's huge true. teamwork, yeah. and you need also a good car to win it. So um, yeah, and it's a lot of different little little things to do it and uh, but it's a huge challenge and yeah it was in the past especially very very difficult because you can see only 30 percent of all the competitors even see the finish line so yeah and that's a challenge yeah. and, and a that's why challenge. it gets so famous yeah. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. and you you fight in a world dominated by men and uh, is it difficult <laughs> yeah it's always difficult because uh, you know, um, if you do something the first time, the people don't really believe in you, you know? So yeah. nobody was believing that the woman can win the Dakar rally because it was the hardest and the toughest race on the, on the planet. And if the people don't really believe that you can do it, you will not get the, the support in the beginning because uh, they would give the best material maybe to the, to the guys because they say, <laughs> ah, we need somebody to win too. It's nice to have a girl for the publicity and she's okay and she, she's doing a good result and yeah. uh, very good for press so you have to fight yourself through yeah. this step that yeah. they that the people in your team believe in you and that it's is harder I, and that is a this is a bit women, harder yeah. because nobody did it before and uh, th this is uh, this and now and now how do you think it is because anyway the men are the, the most you know in the drivers in the field. So. Yes, it's still like this, but it's getting better. We have better. already a lot of uh, competitive women in the yeah. whole world yeah. in any kind of uh, motorsport, not only in the cross-country motorsport, which uh, I did. And uh, this uh, is nice, but still difficult for them. So yeah. we still have to help them. Uh, I am, for example, working for the for the FIA, the Federation yeah. International of uh, Automobile. Yeah. And we have a program uh, which is a woman commission, we call mm -hmm. it, to help young women to achieve and the same. And you're part of that commission. I'm part of that yeah. commission and we are thinking about programs and help, how we can yeah, help women to to enter the motorsport and get the support and also the knowledge maybe yeah. to fight themselves through. Yeah.
we have to support the, the woman power. <laughs> <laughs> the world yeah. needs women to be part of it. Really. I think we are allowed to say that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> obviously. <laughs> For sure, I also want uh, a lot of young uh, uh, men racing. I am uh, also fighting for my sport to get more young people into it and that is women and uh, men but uh, uh, especially because I'm a woman I also want to see more women in this sport yes so you're going on in your career and which are your projects now um, my biggest project is now I'm working, uh, like I told, for the FIA also mm -hmm. to uh, to bring this uh, cross-country sport, we call it, uh, um, high again. We really want to improve that. We want to see what we can, how we can get young people involved in motorsport yeah. and how we also can get uh, the industry, the manufacturers involved mm -hmm. more in motorsport. And therefore, we have maybe to think different in the future, also a bit more maybe environment friendly for the future, which is very very important and I have uh, um, yeah I have this aim to to try to make the motorsport um, yeah as, as good as possible so you will receive the world sport legends award uh, as a sporting legend and which which is your feeling about this Oh, actually, when they uh, when they told me that I am uh, honored to to get this prize, uh, I was really fascinated. I'm so happy. It's actually I'm living since, since many many years already in Monaco, and it's the first time they award me here in Monaco. So it's really really <laughs> yeah. fantastic, and I'm very happy about it. So it's a pleasure to have you with us, and see you tomorrow on stage. Thank you so much. <laughs>